What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm going to be hopping into Live Arena. I am in Gold 1, finally. And I did do some off-camera battles. I did win a couple, lose a couple. So here's a couple of battles. Two wins, and then two losses. So we're coming off of some losses from earlier in the day. Hopefully I can get some wins for you today. I hope I get some wins for myself, right? But we'll see what happens. I'm free to play 100% if you haven't been watching me and haven't been watching any of the videos on my channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a like on the video. would really appreciate that. Um, again, I'm 100% free to play. I don't have like super crazy meta champions other than Duchess, to be honest. Now, I do have Ragash, but, you know, he's not like Georgid or Void Legendaries. I'm talking about meta Void Legendaries. I don't have them, but I make do with what I have on my account as a free-to-play player. I don't have Helicath. I really wish I had Helicath. I didn't get him as a fusion because I missed one of those stupid rares. It was Lammy Burr. Oh, it haunts me to this day. It haunts me to this day. So I always start, always start with Duchess because honestly, without her, my teams kind of fall apart. I don't have a fast enough Arbiter. She's only 366 speed. So in gold, everybody's faster than me. Everybody has a Seafy on top of a Lady Kimmy on top of a Rhodos. And this guy has a six star Rhodos right off the bat. That's fantastic. So what can we do here? Could I can compete with speed? Ah, I don't know. I don't know if I could compete with speed. That's for sure. Now, usually I'll bring in my Samsung because he's very, very strong. People don't realize how strong he is, but I'm probably going to have to bring in Foley on this one. So I'll bring in Foley and then who else could I bring in? I could bring in Lana Tharil, but he's just not strong enough. I don't have him in Savage or Lethal Gear anymore because I put all of that Lethal Gear that he had onto my Samsung. So I'll probably just go ahead and bring in Ultimate Death Knight now. That way he can't pick him. So we'll see what he does next. I need Ultimate Death Knight. He's probably going to ban Ultimate Death Knight. So I'm probably going to bring in Speed. Of course he did double speed. Okay, so that stinks. Um, My goal was to bring in Ultimate Death Knight and then a Speed Champ here. And then damage. But that doesn't really work now, huh? So now, what could I bring in to help protect? Probably Pythion. Maybe I block... Do I block the Rhodos now? Probably still block the Seafy. Probably block the Seafy. Um, who should I pick, though? Let's see. Of course, he's strong. I think I'm going to bring in Wukong. My Wukong isn't super strong, though, I'll be honest with you. Is he going to be strong enough? We'll see. Probably still going to block Seafy. If he brings in a Yumeko, that's a problem. So I'll do that, and I'll do Pythion. Let's do that. Bring in a Cleanser. Might as well. Pythion's pretty strong paired with uh, Seafy, or uh, Duchess, so that's nice. Please don't have a Warlord or Yumeko. Okay, no Warlord, no Yumeko, but he does have Uko, though. Huh. I mean, they just got triple revive. He's definitely blocking my ultimate death knight. So maybe I just block his Rhodos. If he keeps my ultimate death knight, that's going to be annoying, but I'm going to try this out. He kept my ultimate death knight, you son of a gun. Ah. Oh. I was actually kind of hoping <laughs> he got rid of my ultimate death knight. But everybody bans my Foley, man. Everybody bans my Foley. I could go higher defense or resistance. Let's go with resistance. Maybe we resist. I doubt it, but... I just don't want him stripping our stone skin with Uko. That's going to be a problem. We have triple stone skin and then, of course, one without. That's Wukong. And she's going to speed up. Please don't strip all my stone skin. Come on, get lucky here. He stripped basically everything. I shouldn't have done that ability either. I should have just waited. Alright, so he's going to smack, kill my Wukong. Yep. 
Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to wait till he takes his turns. Slept. Okay, let's go ahead and cleanse and heal. I'm not going to revive. He's going to take a turn. I revive 100% turn meter. Okay, he did decrease turn meter here, but let's try to weaken the Leorius a little bit. Maybe I can take him out with my Wukong. Let's see. And there we go. We took out Leorius, so that's nice. She'll speed up and then increase attack on Leorius. Maybe I kill him again. I might be able to take him out potentially. No, no, he's going to. He's going to take a turn with Leorius. Let's go. Ah, I shouldn't have actually went for him because the more HP he loses, the more damage he does. So I actually don't want to go for him. Let's see if we can take out Leorius let again, yet again. Boom, he's dead again. All right, so he's going to revive again. This time he's probably going to revive. Actually, no, I take a turn. I think I might win. Oh, he has. he didn't do enough damage. So my Wukong needs more damage. Okay. Can we survive his smack? Let's see. I'm not going to go for the Leo because he's going to do more damage the more HP I take away. So with a little bit more than half HP, hopefully I can survive the smack. I did. And I'm actually going to wait for the revive. Uko is probably going to get back around to his double hitting ability to try to remove buffs. So that's not great if I get stunned. Let's see what happens. So there's the revive from Wukong. It's going to do the double. Boom, boom. No stuns, please. Okay, no stuns, but... Can I do a cleanse? Do I have my cleanse back? I don't know. Let's take him out. Oh, no! Leo survived with the increased defense. Oh, God. Going to take out my Pytheon, probably. Yeah, I figured. Hopefully I don't get stunned. Decrease attack. He's going to sleep me though. God damn it. That sucks. Alright, can we get lucky here? We've got to take him out. You got to stun though. He's going to, regardless, even if I stun her, I don't have books in my Wukong, so I would have already come back to my ability again. That sucks. I got to take him out. She's going to revive him anyways, so he's going to take a turn regardless. Yeah. I don't think it really mattered if I went for her or I went for him anyways. Can I take a turn with my champion? No, I can't. He's going to kill my duchess. Oh, wait. I didn't die. Okay. That's nice. My duchess is halfway decent, I guess. Thank you, duchess. Thank you for surviving. Can we still come back with this, though? I don't think so. I don't think we can come back. Decrease attack on my Wukong. Very bad. Does he have his big AoE? If he does, I lose. Yeah, I lost. GG's. So that team was tough. I mean, you got very meta champs in, in Leo and Sifi. Super strong. I tried, just not enough damage on my Sun Wukong. I might need to re-gear my Sun Wukong to take off gear from my strongest champions. So I might take it off of potentially Foley and probably take it off of my Supreme Alhane because, you know, everybody bans my Foley. So if I just put in Foley and Wukong, they're going to ban Foley and I'll have my Wukong as my nuke champion only. But up here in gold... Everybody bans Foley, it seems. Nobody wants to take a risk or a chance against Foley. So, plus I just got a three-star Foley today, so that's kind of cool, but it's no use if I can't even use him. So we'll see what happens next. Maybe we can get a little easier foe here. I don't want, like, a bot, but I want somebody that's on my level here. You know what I mean? Taking a long time to find an opponent. 48 seconds. Damn. Well, nobody really probably plays at 3 a.m. in the morning, so... I can't even believe I'm playing right now. I'm just super... I, I can't go to sleep right now. Um, wow. Can't find an opponent. That's a first. That is a first. 
I've never seen that. I guess it only happens in gold, maybe, or is it just... I think it might be the time zone, and, you know, people probably just don't want to play late at night. Or late into the morning. Early into the morning, whatever you want to call it. Desk. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. If he picks Duchess, then... Okay, Pythion. I usually use Duchess and Pythion, but... I guess no biggie. Let's go with Samsung this time. All right, let's see what we can do against Pythion. He's probably going to bring in Rhodos like everybody else in the world. No, he didn't. He brought in a Mortu Macabre. I think I'm just going to ban his ultimate Death Knight. Um, Let's bring in... Strengthens... Let's bring in a, a strip champion. I think I might need a strip champion. I guess I don't really need it or require it, but I could bring in Wukong. Um, especially against Mortu. That is kind of my strip plus damage. I could go triple damage, but he'll just ban my he'll just end up banning my Duchess. So maybe I go with speed. Hmm. Let's go with speed. And then the last one, I'll probably go with damage Ragash. I think I'm going to put Ragash in. He does have double polymorph. So if I even strip, it's going to be annoying anyways. Does he have more polymorph champs? And who's he going to put in for speed? Like he's probably going to put at least one speed champ. So I'm going to block his Wukong. I don't think I'm too worried about... Tormund, but then again, Tormund's a bit of an issue if he bans my Mithrala. Hmm. I do have Stone Skin on my Duchess, so I should be okay. Let's go ahead and bring in Ragash regardless. I can't ban his Wukong, actually. Or should I ban him? Should I ban Wukong? I think I might ban Wukong. Yeah, let's do that. Let's ban Wukong. It's not letting me ban it. I don't know why. There we go. So he banned my Duchess, of course. Do I go with all defense and tankiness, or do I go fast as possible? I think I want to take more turns than him so I can uh, lap him. Um, hopefully take him out. But... The freezes are going to be a problem. If I get frozen too much, that's an issue. I don't have block debuffs buff with uh, Duchess, so he's basically playing to try to get me frozen as often as possible. So that's a problem. I'm not going to buff up right away. Let's just do this. So he's resisting. He's got good, good resistance on Pytheon. Let's go ahead and A1. So we're just going to focus on Pythion. We got frozen just from this buff from Ragash. That's a problem. Decrease their defense because I do have Ragash in a specific blessing. All right, so he's going to heal. I'm assuming AoE. There we go. Fears. He's going to provoke. Most likely. Yep, there's the Provoke. Nice! I, I ended up sheeping him. That's perfect. That's like amazing right there. Let's go ahead and shed that. He can't um, freeze us when he's in a sheep for two turns, so that's nice. Um, We're going to go ahead and dwindle him down a bit here. Increase our speed and heal. Big damage. Boom. Dead. So now I'm going to take a turn with... He's going to put the heals and shield. Pythion's down, though, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and increase our defense alongside with Strengthen. So if he does have a Peril, he's not going to take me out, hopefully. But maybe I take him out here. There you go. Took him out. And that's the power of Samson. Let's go, baby. GG's. Let's go. 
It's got the provoke, doesn't matter at this point. Right, he's gone. Okay, Hex, he's gonna hit us and turn petrified. Yeah, it's over. Good game there. So there you go. That's a win. That's in the books right there. We'll take it. And why is it blacked out here? It's not letting me choose an opponent. What's going on with Raid right now? in the wee hours of the morning. There we go. Do you guys get issues like that in raid really early in the morning? All right, we got a level 91 player. Let's see what he picks. Don't pick Duchess. All right, so he's got Arbiter, that's fine. I'm gonna go with Duchess, of course. Duchess, Stone Skin, and... Hmm. I think I'll go with Pythion. I'm just going to start off with support. Tanky supports. Let's see what he does. So basically up here, I'm finding myself having to go second a majority of the time. And it's working somewhat, but it's only going to work for so long. So I can't do my Foley, and I can't do my Mithrala, which is like my main champion. Ah, <sighs> hmm. So, he's going to try to go as fast as possible. I can't really bring in Wukong. I mean, I could, but Wukong is a weak affinity against Foley. I'm going to bring in Samson because he's super tanky. I think I might end up just banning Foley at this point so far. I might have to, but you know what? Let's wait. Let's wait a second there. Can I put somebody else in? go with him and you know what let's do it let's put in samson let's just do it might as well i've got triple revive going hopefully with both of my polymorph champions if he doesn't take out uko he'll get polymorph from or maybe maybe actually you know what i don't think i'll be able to polymorph the mithrala because she has such high resistance Shu Zen's going to take an instant turn. Nice. She's going to give a champion instant turn. Uh, I got to bring in a red champ. So force champion it is. I think we're just going to bring in... Hmm. I guess Lana Tharl. I don't really have any other force damage dealers. I mean, Rosin, but meh. He's not really built on my account. So who do I ban then at this point? So Shu Zen and her, both of them are super strong. But honestly, I don't have a bolster set on any of these champions. So I really want to take out Foley. So he did take out Uko. I can go with higher defense or higher resistance. So if uh, Herndig is built I'm assuming he's going to be built for accuracy if he's in polymorph. So let's go with resistance and try to resist Herndig's decreased defense and burns. Let's see what happens. Maybe we beat him. It actually is really fun though in gold. I prefer gold over silver with the pick and ban phase. That's super cool. They should definitely, you know, implement that in the lower stages, in the lower tiers, I mean silver and bronze i think they should do it i think the reason why they don't do it is because not people that are in bronze are like a lot newer players to the game they just don't have a large roster so the pick and ban phase would be really annoying for them probably why they don't do it oh god don't get petrified Ugh, of course he does it's fine actually you take less damage petrified so that's cool go ahead and do this um we're gonna try to take out arbiter first if we can Let's go ahead and cleanse. Oh, this is a dub. This is a dub ski. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, let's just go ahead and weaken him, and then my Samsung's going to come in and smash him into the ground. <laughs> GG's. Boom, boom. <laughs> GG's. Let's go. All right, two wins. We got it. We're winning now, boys. Free to play.
So basically I have to go second. 4.8 million, huh? That's a spender. That's a person that like just got into the game and was like, yeah, I'm just going to spend as much money as possible. But then they don't have any tanky supporting champions to keep them alive. Arbiter is not tanky at all. Starting off fresh. Starting off with the Tormund right away. Uh, That just means that I'm just going to go Duchess. And I'm going to go with uh, Pytheon because Pytheon's a cleanser. And then I'll probably throw in Mithrala as well. Um, or, or I could put in my Elva in immunity. So Elva is a very good cleanser as well. Not as tanky, I will say, but Elva is positive affinity against Wukong. So that means that Wukong could potentially do a weak hit on me. It's a possibility. This Wukong's built for damage. So I could bring in ultimate death knight. So it doesn't seem like he's built for high accuracy, but my Death Knight doesn't have resistance. So he could have just 300 accuracy and sheep my ultimate Death Knight. So in that case, I'll probably have to do a resistance lead. Um, so we're just going to do ultimate Death Knight anyways. Maybe he bans ultimate Death Knight or a second guesses himself. We're going to go with, of course, our boy, Sammy. And, uh, yeah, let's go from there. Let's see what he puts in here. He's going to have to do another damage dealer. And he's going to have to do speed. Most likely he's speed. He could put in Kaimar. There's a possibility he has Kaimar. If that's the case, that's not good for me. Um, let's see what he's got, though. He has a Baron. I might just ban the Baron. Or even a Rotos. A lot of people do have Rotos, so. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm actually really interested in what he's going to pick. Helicath. Okay. So he's going to try to do the strat with Helicath. Um, and he's going to ban my Pytheon. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. So in order to not have any issues, I mean, I kind of have to do damage, right? Let's just go with Foley. I'm going to ban Helicath. He's going to have to ban Foley or else I'm going to take a turn if he freezes Foley. So we'll see what happens. Yes. Okay. So I kind of baited him on that one. I think I baited him. I baited him pretty good. I put Foley because, you know, Foley gets the passive proc from being frozen or slept or stunned, takes a turn, nukes everybody down. That's the win. Um, same thing goes for if somebody puts a Kaimar. Now he is going to take a turn first. We'll see what he can do. going to provoke. It's fine. We'll do some counterattacks. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, I figured he was going to be able to do that to me. Um, it's unfortunate for me, but we're going to still take this turn before Mithrala. We're going to cleanse this off. And we are going to AoE. We didn't do our increased crit damage. The reason why I'm doing that on purpose, I want to save my turn where I can grant myself an extra turn after placing an increased crit damage. And that's part of the reason why, because he does so many counterattacks. We want to save that grant an extra turn. So our champ here is going to come back. Ultimate Death Knight's back. Wukong's not alive yet. Now he's going to come back to life. There's a stun. Nice. Hopefully another stun here. Oh, he didn't get a counterattack there. It's fine. Let's try to heal up a bit. Luckily we have the freeze, so we didn't die. Another counterattack there, which is nice. And we already are back around to our ability here. Boom. G. G's. All right. Ooh, he didn't die. He did not die. I'm surprised his Arbiter didn't die. Okay. Okay. He could still win. Let's go here. He could still win. His Arbiter didn't die. Unfortunate for me. Okay. I need that cleanse back as quickly as possible. There it is. Or 
He's he might do the hex actually. Um, he's gonna take a turn here and here before me. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and heal. I'm just gonna heal now. Get those counter attacks in. Does he have his big ability? Not quite. Let's do a revive. Um, let's go after her. Can we take her out? No, not quite. No stun either. Dang, she keeps taking turns, man. I don't want to counter. Don't petrify. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's just heal up a little bit. There's a stun. I mean, we've already got so many debuffs on our ultimate death knight at this point. I do need to re-gear my death knight at some point. I'm going to change him back to um, high resist, high HP. He's right now in like a pseudo damage build. Okay, get the counterattacks. Oh, yeah, GG's. So I wasn't able to take enough turns. And I lost because she had literally 1% health left on Arbiter. Um, if that Arbiter died, I would have won. Unfortunately, that Arbiter survived somehow. I don't know. I don't know how the heck that Arbiter survived, but usually Arbiters don't, do not survive that. I think he had a Strengthen on now that I think about it. If he had a Strengthen on, then that's the reason why he survived. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, and, uh, it was a good fight either way. I actually really enjoyed that fight. Ares. Good name. That was actually one of the names that I was like saying to my girlfriend. I was like, if we have a boy, I kind of want to name him Ares, but the God of War. But at the same time, she's like, I hate it. <laughs> I was like, why not? Such a cool name. It's a kick-ass name. All right. So let's see what happens here. Ares he might be a tough opponent, man. Pytheon and Uko. Nice. Hmm, let's go with double spirit. I have triple spirit actually right now. If he throws in a Rodos, I'll just ban the Rodos. I might throw in Ragash too. And uh, who else can I throw in to help support? Hmm. What? He has Siegfried? Siegfried? Great, a mythical champ. That's awesome. Oh, God. What the heck is that? Sigfrin, gold one. Here we go. Maybe I go speed? They don't have any speed yet. Do I go fast? I think I want to go as fast as possible. Ban is Pytheon? He hasn't chosen Arbiter yet. They're going to go fast. Sigfrin could survive. I need a bomb champion, actually. Let's throw in bombs. Let's do it. <laughs> Can Sigfrin survive with bombs? I think he's going to ban my bomb champion. He doesn't have any polymorph, so I can just bomb him if I want. The only person that's not going to get a bomb is the spirit champ. So unless he puts a spirit champion here, and I don't really know anybody off the top of my head that's spirit, that it has an, a speed aura. Oh, so he did this instead. Um, I think I'm just going to ban his Pytheon still. Yeah, he banned my bombs. I figured he was going to do that. Kind of, I kind of made him do that. Again, it's all a mind game when you're picking and banning. Uh, so yeah, it's basically just a mind game in here. A lot of times I win in gold because of the pick and ban phase, and that's it. If I don't, because of that, that's why I win. So I go first, and uh, I don't know if I want to increase myself. I, I don't know if I want to do this. I kind of have to because of him, but I knew he was going to steal that. Let's go ahead and do some damage here, though. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. Perfect. That was perfect. And we survive. We win. Um. Well, I still got to be careful with Sigfrin. I don't think Sigfrin's going to survive, though. Is he going to do crazy damage? No, no damage at all. Dude, mythicals... Some mythicals are just trash. Not all of them, but Sigfrin's garbage. Thank God they're going to give him a buff. Because, I mean... 
Oh, wow. It worked. He got the block damage. I take it back. Sigfrin's not that garbage. He, he got the instant block damage with his passive. Nice. That's actually really cool. I thought that his passive wasn't working as intended, but either way, still going to lose. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, how do you like that, Sigfrin? He does look pretty sick, though. Not going to lie. Look at that. Like, that is so cool. He's just all for show. You know what I mean? That's why I saved my other ability anyways. GG's. Well, my first mythical encounter, and it was really easy. Honestly, I felt like that was too easy. But on, he could have brought in Trunda. Trunda's better. I mean, Sigrun's a pretty decent champ. They are going to be buffing him, so he's going to be stronger in the future, but... I don't know. Mythicals just aren't as strong as I expected them to be. I thought they were going to be stronger than what they are. I, I get it, though. They don't want to make them overpowered because if they make them too strong, then people are just going to quit the game left and right, and I get that. But at the same time, I've only pulled two Void Legendaries ever. So, you know, like, if it's going to be that hard just to pull Voids... You know, and it's going to be even harder to pull mythicals. Make them strong. I could really care less. Um, the only people that care about it is spenders because they can't get the champion because they don't have boosted rates. They just have 10x, which is garbage. Um, but yeah. So who do I want to use? He's going to go full speed, I feel like. Probably going to go super, super fast. I'm going to throw in speed just to throw him off a little bit so he can't pick Arbiter. He probably has a Seafy, though. Um, let's do that because the people that typically beat me are really, really fast and they have like triple speed boosters. So let's see if he does that. Did I just say it? D I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Just calling it like I see it. Um, we're going to do this and we're going to probably, probably going to ban Sifi. Um, I got to put my Foley in. I've got to put in, I mean, they're going to go as fast as humanly possible, which means they want to try to cleanse. I'm just going to, pick, I'm just going to ban Sifi. And then I'll put in Pythion. Yeah, let's do that. So Sifi's on the chopping block right now. He probably has a Rhodos. Let's see. He's probably going to ban, he doesn't have a Rhodos. Interesting. You could ban my Pythion. I'm still going to ban a Sifi. Um, I'll go ahead and throw in him. We'll take a couple hits, I hope. Yeah, he's going to land bombs on everybody with the Rat King. <laughs> oh, man. I, he could end up banning my Pythion. I think he's going to ban Foley. I'm going to ban his CP. I think he's going to ban Foley. He banned Arbiter. What? Okay. Um. He'll reset, go as fast as possible, try to do double bombs. I'm going to go with Resistance. Yeah, we're going with Resistance. Hopefully he doesn't have crazy high accuracy. It looks like, though... The Nishak is built for damage rather than high accuracy. This ought to be good if he sleeps me. Hey. Oh, God. Take a turn. Take a turn. So he actually got bombs on my Pythion. I was surprised on that. He's going to take a turn AoE instead of A1-ing. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? What's happening? Okay, I survived. <laughs> oh, man. We got to show this dude the power of Sammy.
I see you. Gluck, gluck. He's got the gluck, gluck 3000 over here. GG's. This guy's got a freaking mythical too. All these spenders, man. You're disappointing me right now. These spenders are disappointing. Spending all that money just to not know the fundamentals. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm talking all this crap and then watch. She's going to have like, oh, he did Duchess. No, no. <laughs> D-Voice, you smart man, you. He's going to go tanky. Um, Uko, this, this is now a job for Uko. And a job for Pytheon. Liz Gu. He's going to go speed probably. He's probably going to go double speed. I'm going to assume. No, he is going full tank, like I said. Okay. So there's no way he's going to go for a triple speed or um, a speed person and then one damage dealer. I think he's going to go with just like full damage and I'm just going to block one of his damage dealers or I'll end up blocking like his Duchess. So we'll go with Foley. And I'll probably go with Samson. Yeah, Samson's good. Oh, God. He's going full out just survivability and trying to lock us out with, um, what's her name? Lydia. She's trying to block revive. Uh, should I do something stupid? <laughs> Bushy. <laughs> Your boy. Your boy, Bushy. <laughs> it's your boy, Bushy. <laughs> Block Marichka. <laughs> if we win with Bushy against this dude, y'all gotta subscribe. I mean, come on. If we win with Bushy right now, you gotta subscribe. What other content creator have you ever seen use Bushy? Huh? Who? Who? Name him. Tell me. Come on, man. Your boy's about to put in some work right now. Resist. It's fine. That's fine. Let's do this. Stun him. Nah, he's going to cleanse. That's fun. Good cleanse. GG's. <clears throat> Increase my attack. Freeze me. Remove the freeze. But. Can we take him out? Ooh, we got him. Can we take out this wonderful champion right here? Oh my god, Bushy! Oh my god! It's your boy! He's like, how does this happen, bro? How does this happen? It's a freaking, it's a, fr it's a freaking epic champion. He can't be winning. He can't be winning with an epic, man. That's not even fair, bro. That's like not fair. Weaken. Take him out, Bushy. Bing. You're dead. Bing. Come on, take him out. Counterattack. Bing. <laughs> It's your boy, Bushy. Should I take this off? Uh, let's just, let's heal up. Ooh, we got the counterattack. Oh, snap. Can he win? Can he win? Psych, I got swift parry on Bushy. He said, bing. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I was going to kill him with a sheep. That would have been crazy. Well, it was nice knowing you. Your boy won with Bushi. That deserves a like, a comment, and a subscription, okay? Subscribe to your boy with Bushi. Have you ever seen this in gold? You probably haven't, okay? Doesn't matter how strong the player was, you probably haven't seen that. 
All right. <laughs> oh, man. I just like having fun, man. I just like having fun with the game. Using champions that people wouldn't typically use that they say is absolute duty water. And then you see me get a win like that. Okay. GG's. I don't know why people love to try to do that where they're like, oh, I'll just kill them with uh, all support champions. And I will say, granted, it has happened to me before, but it doesn't happen all the time. Okay. And I've kind of learned my lessons enough. Always ban Marichka because she will just keep everybody alive forever and ever. She's super annoying. So I always ban her now. All right. So Rickus. Uh, Mr. Rickus, you got CV and you've got this boy. He's probably doing damage. I'm going to assume that he's a damage dealing Wukong. Um, I'm going to bring in speed just because, and I'm going to bring in Pytheon as well again. So what do we got going on here? What's he going to bring in? Another Tormund. People love bringing Tormund against me, huh? I'm thinking I'm going to ban the Seafy still. That Baron is scary. Um, yeah, Baron scares the crap out of me. If he has a Kaimar last, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Foley just to make it so he doesn't put in Kaimar. If he does put in Kaimar, he's going to ban my Foley most likely. I will go ahead and put in my... Hmm. Should I put him in? Yeah, we'll put him in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with Samson again. He's pretty tanky. I don't think he survives a nuke from Baron, though. It's got Rodos. Um. See, Baron is the real problem here, honestly, but I think I'm still going to ban Seafy. You know, if they take a turn with Baron and Rodos, like, I mean, both of them could pop off like crazy. I could go with high defense or even resistance, but I think I'm going to go with higher defense. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with defense. He's going to take a turn. He might actually be an accuracy Wukong since he brought in triple damage. Yeah. Super fast Rodos, by the way. Super fast. It's going to take out my, my Sammy now. Get the counters. Weak hits. Unfortunately, get the counter. Okay. And he's going to take me out. Yeah, that sucks. He stole my freaking stone skin. Nuked. Okay. He's got to go here. He's probably going to A1. Yep. Can I get some counters? There we go. Okay. I just need to take a turn with my Sammy, but I'm... Now I can't because he's going to take me out. Oh, he sheeped me. Great. That's wonderful. Baron's going to come in and try to nuke. Counterattack. Nice. Okay. I just got to take a turn, man. Nice. Counterattack again. Didn't take me out. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. What's he got going on here? What's he going to do this time? A1. Turn me to drop. All right, here we go. GG's. Of course, his uh, his champion is in Swift Parry. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't really matter, though, at this point. Yeah, he quit. Man, oh, man, oh, man. These people are just getting wrecked. I am on a rock and roll right now. Let's go. We are on one. We just can't lose. I'm just kidding. Now now I'm going to lose. Watch. Now I'm going to get crushed because they're going to be like, oh, man, we see Aeronius. He's uh, he's doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and throw a Kraken at him real quick. Or maybe not. Divine. I think they're trying to say Divine Warrior. Somebody probably picked the name. I don't know if you can actually do multiple names the same. Not sure. Because right now it's just Divin. All right, so we're going to go with uh, Duchess. What do we got? What do we got here? Who do I ban? Another Baron. All right. He took my Pytheon. That's not good. That is not good. 
Um, I'm going to try to go fast then. If he wants to take Baron, that's fine. I'm going to try to go fast. I'm going to go Foley. He could still go double speed here. And then one damage dealer at the end. Which he really should. He should go double speed. If he doesn't, I could capitalize on it. He did not. He decided to do two cleanses. Probably going to take out Pytheon, if anything. Ilil did get a buff, but he's still not super strong. He is stronger than before, I will say, but he's not, like, crazy unless you have insane gear. Um, so for me, <clears throat> I'm still going to put in my Samsung. He's just a beast. Um, as you saw, Samsung survived, um, what's his name's blast, Baron's blast in the last battle. We're also going to throw in... Who else do I want? Probably going to throw in M. I don't know if I do enough damage, though. Actually, against Elva is really not good. I think I throw in Lonnie. No, no, no. I need to put in a tank. Let's just do this. Let's do uh, Sir Nick. I had to throw in somebody. I should have done Mithrala. Don't know why I didn't do it. Ran out of time, and I freaked out. Picked the wrong one. So we're going to go with Sir Nick anyways. Probably going to ban my Foley again. Okay, he's got... I um, forget this guy's name, but he does the block damage. Stuns. I could ban his Baron. He's going to cleanse. I'm going to go ahead and block his Elva. That way I can go fast. He does have the speed. I just want to block his speed. I was hoping he didn't block my Foley, but I'll go ahead and put on the unkillable with Sir Nick. And I should be able to survive Baron's nuke. Oh, of course he's in stone skin. So let's just do this first. We didn't strip. <laughs> nah, dang it. All right, that's fine. All right, Ileel's going to attack my C Duchess most likely. Or is he going to AoE? He stole the stone skin. Dang. Okay. Go unkillable. Let's just A1 into Baron. Damn, we're stripping. We are stripping him off. Doing pretty decent damage to the stone skin on Baron. I mean, Baron kind of is like a piece of paper. So... Alright, let's see. Ilil with his damage... I mean, I guess he can't really do anything here. He's going to have to AoE or he's going to have to A1. And, or not take a turn at all. There's the A1. Okay. Basically, I'm just waiting for them to um, reduce their stone, uh, not stone skin, um, unkillables. If I go too fast here, it's actually not good for me. So I'm just going to... A1. Because Baron's going to nuke. Um, let's try to take out Ileel. No, not even close. Not enough damage. Dude, that Baron's so slow. Holy crap. Dude, how slow is this guy? You know what? Let's try to nuke through. He got the unkillable. Or the block damage. We lost. Baron's going to nuke. He's like 100 speed. Dang, he didn't do any damage. Holy crap. I thought he was going to do crazy damage. And that's why Ileel sucks. Right there. Let's play some shields. Baron's gone. Freaking wet noodle. Two stuns. This guy's actually really good right here. I think it's like brass clad or something i don't know i don't remember his name some dwarf but he's a pretty strong champion with the stuns all right let's do this fill him up now we can start increasing speed healing um let's take out baron i don't like him try to focus on ileel now the 
The thing is with Ileal as a void legendary, I feel bad for people with Ileal because like his damage is so bad. Like they really need to buff him. He's so trash. I honestly feel bad when a, when he hits like a wet noodle. I'm just like, what the heck is that? Got unkillable up again. Yeah, there's a provoke. I don't think that matters at this point. All right, one more turn. Take him out. Does he have the revive back from Pythion? Let's see. I don't think so. Not for another two turns, I think. Yeah. AoE. Place shields. Veil up again. Speed up. And let's do big damage. Come on. All right, not crazy. Let's go ahead and just focus on Pythion now. He's dead. GG's. All right. I mean, we're on a roll. We are on a roll right now. Um, getting the dubs. One, two, three, four, five in a row. 14.3 million player power. Uh, you know, honestly, a huge part of this is just pick and ban phase. You ban the right people, you bait people, and you have a higher chance of winning. So I think that's nice. Harima is honestly crazy strong, even against Ragash and Samson being positive affinity or even Wukong. Harima mitigates 50% of that ignore defense, which is absurd. Um, so we are going to throw in, I mean, Duchess, yes, is weak affinity against Harima. So depending on what he puts for champions after Harima for damage, I'm assuming he's going to put one other damage dealer. I will put first, I'm going to put her. And then I'm also going to put Pythion. The reason why is I want damage mitigation. I'm also going to put in Mithrala. The reason being, of course, he's got speed, so he's going to try to go as fast as possible. He's probably got Rhodos. Um, so Rhodos is going to be in. Does he have Kaimar? Kaimar and Rhodos, maybe? Yeah, that could be a problem. So I might have to go with Unkillable, potentially. Well, he's going to take so many turns, that doesn't even matter. I need to do cleanses. I can't really do... I mean, I could do Mithrala, but I can't really do Mithrala because she can get slept. I don't have immunity set on her. So... Damn. Let's just do it. Let's throw her in anyways. Let's throw in Samson anyways. Um, I'm going to have to depend on Samson's stuns potentially. Oh, he doesn't have a Rotos. Okay, that's a surprise. So I'll take out probably Harima. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to take out Sifi. Harima's strong, but I think I'm going to take out Sifi. And I want to throw in probably Ragash with the Strengthens. Yeah, let's do that. I honestly thought he was going to throw in Rhodos. I mean, I could still lose this because he's going to go first. And I lost Duchess. I think I'll put in increased defense. So we're going to increase our defense here. It's going to be helpful for my Ragash, of course. 30% increased defense is huge for him. Also good for Samson and everybody else, right? Because it's all support. Tanky support. Uh, let's see what happens. So he decided to do Revive on Death, playing it safe. Uh, he could take out Ragash easily or even... Why would he go for him? The tankiest one on the team. People always mess that up. They always go for Samson. I don't know why. He's the tankiest one. Oh, he's got a stone skin Harima. So she loses a lot of damage. Okay. It's fine. Let's go ahead and cleanse. Let's go ahead and heal up. Big damage. Double smack. Boom, boom. 
They're going to revive. I get a turn with Ragash. Smack them again. Smash them. Uh, triple hit on my Samson will kill me. He'll do the AoE spread. Not much damage, though. I think I'm going to wait. Um, No, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to put the Hex right now. She's going to revive. Increase speed. Increase attack. Let's take out... Let's go ahead and revive with Strengthen. Okay, she's going to go for Samson. Go, get the counterattack. Boom, boom. Remove debuff, which means... Oh, the Hex was removed because I did too much damage. Resurgent Mastery. Okay, he's going to try to take out Pythion now. I mean, the Strength and an Increased Defense definitely saved me there. I would have died. AoE, everybody. Still survive because of Strengthen. I need to take out... This is the problem here. Increased defense is just nice. Not even close on taking her out. I might actually lose. I don't have my revive back. He's going so fast that I can't seem to take him out. And I couldn't take out the Arbiter at the with the damage that I had. Um, Let's do shields. Can we survive? I don't think we're going to survive the hits on my Pythion. No, that's unfortunate. Okay. Does Ragash have his ability back? Let's see. He's got revive on death again. All right, so we got our first loss in a bit. In a bit. Let's just take her out now. Yeah, that sucks. If I can potentially get a turn before his champion here, I might win, but I doubt it. Yeah, he decreased my turn meter. GG's. Okay, that's a loss. Took out my Duchess. I really needed that Duchess, though. Yeah, Harima is ridiculous with mitigating damage. Probably just should have taken out Harima. Anyways, hey, we did a fairly good job here. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three losses. So 70% win rate there, which is not bad. And we're still at 54% on the win rate in total. I am ranked 10,004 right now, currently, as a free to play player. Um, not a terrible bout, though. I like it. We'll take it. What was he? 14.4 million. Anyways, what do you guys think of the of the showcase? Did you appreciate the fact that I used Bushi in 1-1? One, one? <laughs> Definitely leave a like on that. I would really appreciate that. Definitely share the video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you've watched this far, and I'll see you on a video soon. Peace.